You're such a gremlin. Hi. tree we are having weather which is <laughs> not my favorite it makes my head hurt it makes my body hurt so and again I'm on my phone so I keep rem just remembering where the camera is one day I will learn this <sighs> I'm not sure I have much to say today I just finished reading the mermaid the witch in the sea which was actually really excellent I wasn't expecting to like it I, I read it as part of the uh, Romancing the Gothic book club, and I have a high percentage of not really enjoying the books we read for that, but this one I really did. It, I, I love a crunchy book. I love a book that is really about thinking and realizing all the gray of a situation, um, and I also love a book that pretends it isn't crunchy and just like lures you into the thing i mean see the raven cycle it's like so it doesn't seem like it should be crunchy and it is so crunchy so i ended up really enjoying it i really like it uh the commentary on the imperial natures of america britain and japan are really interesting we don't talk enough about japan's imperial era i don't think which is a shame. It's so good. Look at it. It's so pretty. It's very good. I need to prepare my talk for uh, Romancing the Gothic in April. I'm doing an art talk. I was supposed to do it last year and then uh, my mental health kind of went fluey and that didn't happen. So I'm doing it in April. Hopefully my brain keeps together long enough to do it. But it's basically on dark surrealism and contemporary gothic fic, um, art. So like a little bit of Abigail Larson, a little bit of Camille Erico. There's just, I have a list running and I need to like start like pulling things down and apart and grouping them and categorizing them so that there's some sort of something like organization going on. Because right now it's just like, ee and me babbling. Though I have, I think I have really interesting potential thoughts that no one is going to be interested in. So that's good.
had Gothic Day of Creation on the 31st, 31st, nope, 30th, 30th, and I did one of my doodle and chills, which is always, it's very stressful for me, I'm glad it's not for anybody else, but it's always very stressful for me. Performative arting is not my favorite thing. I don't know how to talk to people while I'm doing it, and a lot of times people don't want an explanation, they just want a performing monkey, and yes, I have snappy hats, but I'm not good at being a performing monkey, so that, 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 that's some things I've been thinking about. Today is one, two, three, it's February 4th, so if you were interested in a point of reference because I often do not give a point of reference. I want to do and that I'm working on, it's kind of like overload. I want to try something as a means of organizing myself. I'm feeling a little less congested. So I should go do things. I should, should attempt to do my morning pages, which are not ever morning pages because I don't know what morning is um, and I need to prepare for when I can order our market box at Forbes we started uh, doing Misfit Market which Don Spawn <laughs> nobody sponsors me um, to try and supplement some of our like vegetable needs because we live in Wisconsin and it's the winter so veggies, while it exists in the stores and stuff, it's not so great. And Misfit Market like works with like small growers and yada 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 yada. There is no ethical consumption under capitalism, but we can try our best to minimize our impact. There's just nothing like being called out by your tarot reading. I mean, come on. Silly gremlin. Like, no, no, look at me. Do not perceive me. No. Silly. I'm gonna go uh, in case I do not talk to the camera again because who knows what I will do. Do good, be kind, be brave, wear a mask, and courage.